Hey guys, Greenbird here. Hope everyone is doing awesome. Hope you're living the life you chose the day you deserve and you most certainly are. Um, I wanted to just do a quick video. It's been a while. I apologize. Um, I know I was talking about the new channel that I'm going to have out there, Greenbird Naps, but I just have not felt passionate about flint napping lately and I'm a huge believer in not doing things that you don't feel passionate about doing, so I have not done that. Uh, but one thing I do feel passionate about is surviving and living, and that's what this video is going to be about today. So um, I promised you guys this video, I mean, uh, this channel will never be uh, fear-mongering, doom and gloom, doom scrolling kind of channel, and I'm going to do my best to, uh, you know, to keep that promise, but we do need to have a quick chat today because there's a lot going on right now overseas, not just the Russia-Ukraine uh, conflict, but also what's going on in Israel and, and uh, the Gaza Strip and Syria, Iran starting to get involved, China's looking a little froggy. So there's a lot going on, um, and if you haven't seen the writing on the wall, I want to just sort of kind of steer you in that direction. So if you want to find out more about those, uh, you know, about what really is going on and how, uh, you know, the details like that, there's some really good uh, YouTube channels that I can direct you to who offer not just their opinion, but also cite their sources, provide you their sources, and you can double check them, fact check them, do what you want to do. Um, that's not going to be this channel, but I did want to let you, let you guys know that there's a lot going on right now, and if you have not started to put your preps in place, boy, there's not a better time to do it because um, I, I'm pretty sure that we're only maybe months away from needing them, and I'm not giving any prediction of, uh, you know, World War or anything like that. I'm just saying that, you know... Um, the, this world war that World War III has already started is not going to be in the form that we are accustomed to from our textbooks. It's going to be uh, very political, very um, um, what's the other word that I'm looking for? It's going to involve a lot of um, trade uh, strangulations and things like that, where things are going to get hard to get. So if you have not put away what you need, we're talking not just food, but toilet paper, deodorant, uh, shampoo, toothpaste, shoes, whatever it is that you think you might buy next year, buy it now instead and put it in storage, put it somewhere and it's there when you need it. Spend a little extra money. I know it hurts to have it out of the bank, but it doesn't do you any good when it's in the bank and it's not worth anything and you, there's nothing to buy. So uh, that would be my suggestion is to uh, you know, put back what you think you're going to need. If there's any tools that you think you're going to need, buy them now. Um, you know, get your oil changed, fill up your, keep your tanks full, that type of thing. If, if you use heating oil, fill up your furnace, that, you know, all that. So, that's my first message. My second message is don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. You don't know how many times, you know, I'm talking to somebody and, you know, they're like, ha, 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 I know where I'm going to go when the world ends, and they're talking about my place, right? Well, you know, I have a contingency plan for that, and that may or may not involve those people. So um, don't be that person that knows the guy who has the food or knows the guy who has the water or knows the guy who, you know, has the whatever else you need. Almost slipped up. Sorry, YouTube. You know, because the fact of the matter is, is that that person probably has a contingency plan in place, and I do. Uh, you know, does that mean you need to turn away the uh, middle-aged mother that has a, you know, 10-year-old on one side and is holding a baby? No, of course not. You know, I've got a plan for that, too. But don't expect the people that you know are prepared to just open up their arms and take you into their house because... Um, you know, they probably have a plan to protect themselves and have not thought of you. So unless you bring great value to the situation, some sort of value, do you have a, a major skill that is worth trading the, you know, food for and water for and shelter for, you know, you know what services can you offer? Because um, that will be a huge consideration in those, in those times, you know, and, and, and we're not talking like, you know, zombie brain eating apocalyptic times, even if it's just, you know, Say the grid goes down, say the, you know, an EMP or something silly like that, and, you know, there's no power for, well, I mean, it would be a long time for us because our grid sucks, and, you know, it would take a long time for them to repair that. But, you know, just a place to stay warm and to be able to heat your food and things like that. Um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought, but 
um, that is that's all going to be so valuable and so precious that you know if you don't bring something really substantial to the table, you're probably going to find yourself um, at, at the bare minimum in a situation where you're extremely tasked to the person who does have the uh, you know the commodities that you need. You know that might mean well we won't get into that, but um, so my. The whole point of this video is don't be that guy, okay? Instead of knowing the person to go to, be the person to go to. Be the person who has what you need if a situation arises. Be the person, and, and make your decisions ahead of time too. What are you going to do when that, uh, you know, that mom comes to your door with a kid, you know, a 10 year old on one side and a baby in her hand? Are you going to turn her away? Do you have any extra food to give to her? Do you have a plan of how you're going to help that person? Do you let them into your house? Do you give them something to, you know, ease their uh, suffering and send them on their way? What do you do? Have you, have you thought of that? It's the same thing as, as everything, all other pre uh, preparedness, um, you know, concepts. It's the same thing when you walk into a movie theater. What do you, where are the doors? Where are the, you know, emergency exits? What are you going to do if this happens? What are you going to do if that happens? You know, you got to make these decisions now uh, before it's too late. But anyway, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Um, the whole point of this is that things are getting silly out there and you need to protect yourself and start thinking about putting stuff away if you have not already. And, um, you know, there are a lot of really good videos on that. If you have any specific questions, I'd be more than happy, you know, to talk to you about that. I, I do much more of that stuff than what makes it to camera. So um, I'd be happy to answer any questions in the comments. Or, you know, if you feel more comfortable emailing me, you can email me as well. Uh, but anyway, until next time, guys, stay safe. Um, keep watch, of course. Um, well, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to... Uh, steal the taglines of other videos but that just kind of came out but stay safe and um, you know start getting things in order and uh, till next time Greenbird out